Yo, yo, you guys see the title of the video. We're getting this grounding kit in today. I'm sitting in front of Ace Hardware right now because I don't want to reuse the old hardware um, with the post on it. Don't like the way that looks. If I'm getting rid of the, the grounds, I'm getting rid of the ground, you know, the whole thing. So on the EQT site, it shows here, sorry guys, I'm using my GoPro. I don't have my good camera with me. It says M6 by one by one, sorry, M6 by one by 45 millimeters, what we're looking for. So we're gonna run in here grab um four bolts hopefully we'll be good to go go home pull the old ones out put the new kit in looking fancy one thing i do want to say um we got this rear button here the rear fog that thing is so bright it looks like a brake light so people are on my ass all the time on the highway and i hit that button they instantly back up it's awesome i don't even gotta hit the brake or get off the gas or nothing the car's driving itself no foot on the gas no foot on the, on the brake someone's on my ass i just hit that button they back off Turn the button off again good to go it's really convenient and kind of funny i wish i could like record it which i guess i could if i could find it during the day it'd be great but it only ever happens you know by the time i get off work it's now it's dark it's terrible i hate daylight saving anyway quit rambling run in here see what we can find hopefully we can find some like six mil allens that are black anyway we'll see well didn't find the exact hardware i wanted but good enough just regular hardware with washers um all the ones that had like the integrated washers to it, they were too short. All the black ones were way too short. They were like, they didn't go above like 30. I needed 45. And the nice ones I really liked, they only went to 40 and they were like four times the price. So I spent like four bucks for regular bolts, washers. Call it a day. But now we'll finally actually unbox this, figure out which way we want to route it. And there's two grounds in the engine bay. There's one on the left side, well, I guess the passenger side kind of near the uh, the motor mount. And there's another one like back behind where the battery would be on my car. Um, on most people's cars, there's gonna be a battery there. So um, we'll figure out which side we wanna throw it to, but let's unbox this real quick. From what uh, the website says, and there's a link down below for this. This is like super high grade stuff. Um, everything CPO on his channel, he already did this. Um, I guess mine will be a little bit different since it's a Gen 4 motor. This will be the first car that has this on a Gen 4. Uh, oh look, we even got more stickers. Nice. So we got some EQT stickers. Mind you guys, this is the Pro Kit. There is another kit where you don't have to depin anything. And I don't even know if the depin tool I have will work. But I know that you can get it done with just some, uh, some guy posted said he could get them off with, uh, what's it called? Like two small drill bits to like get the pins out, so. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a knife real quick, cut these zip ties off, and I'll splay this out. All right, so we got the zip ties off. This is seriously some really high quality stuff. Look at this. Probably never focus. My camera hates me, but let's see. Mm, oh, maybe we can get it when we get out in the garage. But this is like just super nice. Really simple. Now um, pop the old ones out, put the new ones in, attach the ground, and you're done. So let's get to it. I'm excited. All right, if you guys haven't seen, I got the racing line intake on. It's been doing us well. It's a little scratched up, a little old, still rocking it. Still waiting for them to come out with this new cap, but uh, here's another good look at the Gen 4. There is a handful of differences, but there's a lot of things that are the same. So, you know, I was talking about grounds earlier. There's a ground here, and then there's a ground right here. Obviously, there's two of them, so you can pick which one we want. I'm gonna lay this out and see what I think and then we'll just have at it. All right, so you guys may be wondering and you know, if you don't work on your car or, and you, ne or and you never had this issue, you may in the future, but the main reason I and most people are doing this, this top nut sometimes is too tight and you go to loosen this top nut and it tries to spin this whole thing and then you may either wind up snapping this ground off or something, like you need a thin, I actually wound up, went out and bought a very thin 10 mil that sits under here, shout out the shop that, that'll hold this so you can loosen this top nut without the whole thing just spinning. And over time, like these bottom ones here, like they are, they're not a complete circle. They're ovaled to like help stay in there so they don't back out and they'll eventually strip um, that spot. So that's the second reason why. There you go. I mean, and it makes things easy. So of taking off grounds, do coil packs real quick. Just a 10 mil, boop, boop, boop. Coil packs out. So not having to deal with all this extra junk. So, 
In my experience, the best way to get these off, you press down towards the coil pattern, hit the thing, and then lift up. So press down, squeeze, lift up, down, squeeze, lift up, down, squeeze, lift up. Boom. And of course, there's all these extra little new things you gotta undo, like this O2 sensor, this sensor for the uh, PCB. But we'll get this all lifted up, boom, like that. Now we'll pop open these caps and then pull out the little pink johns in there, slide that out, and then we'll push these pins right on off. Kind of hard to show by yourself. I have a nice little flathead here. And I'll just go around the side. Should be able to just, hopefully my head's not in the way. Flip this and pop it open. Boom, one side, pop the other. All right, once you get all these popped open, I guess you can do it whatever order you want, but it gives you a little bit more room. I already did this one just so I can show you guys. You got this pink retainer in there, and there's a little notch over here on the left side with this nice little flathead. It's really easy to just pop in there, and then uh, there's like another notch here on the side. You gotta kind of like match it up, and then boom comes right out. So you have to do that with each one. This locks all the pins in. All right, y'all. So this is what the pin going in looks like. You can kind of see the little fins there on either side. One there, one here. Kind of really hard to see. But these little fins is what keeps it in there. Like, they're super thin. Now, I have a cheap tool. You can get this at, like, AutoZone or something. just has these different prongs on it for different types of pins. I believe this one's the one that's going to work. It's going to slide down and compress those little wings and then be able to pull this out of the backside. It's going to be a little hard because of the seal here. The seal is going to kind of keep it from falling out as well. But this is going to go right in, and I'll be able to whoop, pull it out. All right, guys, we're going to do this real time. See uh, how actually annoying that the, 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 I can't even talk today. See how annoying this is. I believe I'm just going to go right over top of that. Pressing. Feels like it's bottomed out. Oh, that's really easy. That's real time. First time I've ever done it. That's cake. I might be able to knock all these out in one clip if I really wanted to. Press. Oh, boom! All right, this is way easier than what I thought. I don't know why anybody wouldn't do the pro kit because with the other kit, you're putting uh, nuts and bolts in these and matching them up. Oh, you guys can't even see over there. Sorry. Whoop! You're putting nuts and bolts in this, and it's gonna put like the on the grounding kit. It's not pins. It's also these types of terminals. And you're putting these little nuts and bolts in these and then tucking them in there and it's real thick and ugly in my opinion. I mean it's still a good solution, but I'm all about the cleanliness, so just baby in. That was too easy. Too easy. Nice job, Dave. Dave, you're watching, I know you are. Uh, David EQT, he came up with this idea and this kit. So huge shout out, shout out to him and the EQT team. Too easy. I want to show you guys how these pop in real quick. Just as easy as they come out, they come in. So you want to look at the front of the pin here. Make sure it's facing the same direction as all the rest. Yep. And then you're just going to loop it right on through. And then you're going to hear a nice audible. And you got to make sure it doesn't twist while it's in there like this one's trying to right now. Yep. Hear that click. I'm going to pop this right back into its spot. Done. I just got this last one. I need to pull a little bit more slack through and uh, we'll get it. I'll show you guys how I routed it. Nice and clean. All right, y'all. I'm definitely happy with this. I'm um, looking at these. You can't even tell until you get right over here. There's a little bit extra on this last one. Um, so there's just a little loop there and then I brought it down under the tube, down, around, back behind the brake booster underneath this and it comes up right here on this ground so took a little trickery i had to like wrap some of the wires like behind the loom that goes here i had 
them coming like looped around it and then coming back in and this one like went around it came back in and cut some of the slack out um, I think this one went straight in and then this one looped around too but a little bit of fun around looks good now I just need to get rid of these old the old hardware and uh, see how the actual final looks don't be like me and get all the way done and then look on your toolbox and realize you didn't put the pink clips back so I take them all back off shove them back in but uh, no, got the hardware on. I really wish they were black and were Allen, but maybe I can find some online. It looks great though. Like I'm happy with it. I mean, I still run the engine cover, so it's not like anyone's gonna see it ever anyway. But uh, you know, I paid for it, so I'm gonna use it easily. I mean, 20 minutes. I could revert it back to stock if I ever really needed to. Probably never will. Don't see why I would. But uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see about this Gen 4 engine. One thing I did just see right here on this motor mount, there's a ground and it goes down to the chassis side. You can't really see it back there. It goes down. It's really interesting. Gen 3s definitely didn't have that. Maybe if it was just an Audi thing, but um, you can see like this, like a bracket right here. And that goes down to the motor mount as well. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Just from the motor mount to the motor, it looks like, to help it keep from going left to right, maybe? Um, that's interesting. Yeah, that, that bolt right there. It's like a bracket. It doesn't attach anywhere else, but right there. So, that's pretty neat. What other little things? Like, the S3 obviously has the battery in the rear. Looks like the brake booster is all electric, which is neat. Um, just some little things here and there. Hopefully this uh, this turbo is more capable than what the IS38 was. I know the fuel pressures, the fuel pressure, the fuel system itself has more pressure, so maybe we'll be able to run, you know, some good e-blends with the turbo turned all the way up, make some really good power. So we'll see. Not many people, I don't know, of any shops. I think O34 got their S3 today. And uh, I think IE got theirs like a week or so ago. And so maybe they'll start trying to crack on the ECU. Who knows? I know EQT's waiting to get a Golf R. This is going to be a while. Shop Dap's getting their GTI this weekend, but they obviously aren't tuners. So we'll have to see how uh, the cookie crumbles. Really don't want to get a JB4, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll reach out to George and see what he thinks. I don't really. I don't know. I need to do more research than the G before, but I don't think that's a route that I'd really want to go, or at least pay money for. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys like the install. It's pretty simple, definitely nice, worth the money. Um, definitely, especially if your your car is modified like big time and you're checking your coil packs all the time, or your spark plugs all the time, pulling your coil packs out and stuff like that. Definitely think it's worth it. So, we'll get this engine cover back on, close this video up. Go edit, get some food on the grill. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, if there's anything else you guys want to see about this motor or car, suggestions for videos, let me know down below. And I'll get you on the flip flop.